So for this program, we'll just be making a simple uh, income tax calculator. And to start out, we imported the scanner library, which we'll need for user input. Um, but once we're in main here, we can begin with declaring some constants. So we'll have a few final doubles, and I'll just go ahead and uh, copy and paste this. For these, we want rate one to equal uh, we'll do 0, 0.10, rate 2 equals 0 0.25. So just depending on your personal information, you'll um, be taxed at a different rate. So final double rate 1, single limit equals 32,000. Okay. Rate 2, oh sorry, rate 1 married limit equals 6400 so 64000 sorry and after that we can declare um, a couple of doubles so we'll have two doubles the first one uh, tax 1 equals 0 tax 2 equals 0 okay so uh, now we can go ahead and get some input from the user. We're going to need the income. So I can just say enter income. Uh, first, we need to create an object using this scanner class right here. So scanner dot, oh no, sorry, scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. And then we'll do system dot out print. Uh, please enter your income. Double income equals in dot next double. Okay. After that, you can go ahead and print system dot out dot print. Um, please enter S for single and M for married. And this will be stored in a string. So string marital status equals in dot next. Okay. Now, what we need to do is calculate taxes here. So the reason why we need if statements is because if you're married, then you'll be taxed a certain way. So we can go ahead and uh, start with that. We'll do if marital status dot equals um, s. Okay. So if the user entered entered s, then we're going to do uh, what's called a nested if statement. Okay. So a nested if statement is just an if statement within another if statement. So that will be right here. If income is less than or equal to rate one single limit. Okay, this number right here. So if your total income is less than this number and you said you were single, then what will happen? Tax one equals rate one times income. So if that's the case that um, your income is less than or equal to this number and uh, you're single, then you will be taxed at this rate. Okay. And that will be stored in this variable. Now, if that's not the case, we'll do else. Tax one equals rate one times rate one single limit, right? So up until this limit will be tax one. And then tax two equals rate two times income minus rate one single limit. Okay. So in this case, 
um, you'll be taxed at the second rate, right? Uh, for everything over this number. And that's stored in tax two. Now that we have this part taken care of, this if statement, now let's do else. So what is the else, um, the else expression? We could say uh, else if marital status equals M for married, right? But since M is the only other option, we can just keep this as an as an else, uh, just to keep things simple. So else if income is less than or equal to rate one married limit, then tax one equals rate one times income. Okay. So if your income is, if you said you're married, right, and your income is less than this number, then your tax, uh, your, what you will pay, right, uh, will be the rate one times your income, which is whatever is less than that number. Okay. Else, if you make more than that, then tax one equals rate one times rate one married limit. Okay. So it's basically the same as this uh, up to a certain point, right? Because everything after that is in tax two equals rate two times income minus, oh, that should be capitalized, rate one underscore married limit. Okay. So in this case, the rate two is just um, income minus the rate one married limit. So everything over this amount will be taxed at this rate. So I think that makes sense. Uh, we can go ahead and give that a try. Into your income, let's say 10,000 and single. So, okay, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't calculate or print anything out. So that's pretty important. Um, we have the first part down though, so that's good to check. Now let's just see where we left off. So we can begin at here. And we need to do a new variable, double total tax equals tax one plus tax two. Okay, so we initialize these as zero. So if you're not making more than your bracket, then uh, it will just be that number plus zero. Um, and we need to output something. So you actually see a result down here. <laughs> System dot out print line. The tax is dollar sign plus total tax. So that will be how much you owe. Let's go ahead and run that into your income. Let's try it again, 10,000 single, you have to pay $1,000 because that is 10%. And yeah, that makes sense. Let's run that again. Let's do it if I was over 32,000. So into your income, 40,000 and I'm still single. So in this case, you would pay um, 5,200. So it would be the 10%, right? Uh, let's see here. Where does that start? Single income is greater. So it's uh, rate one times rate single limit. And yeah, that's uh, right there would be 3,200. And then an extra 2,000 on top of that. So that makes sense. And let's go ahead and run that um, for married. So we'll do 50,000 married and the tax is 5,000. So why is that? Because 
you said uh, this is the else clause for if you're married, and um, the income is fifty thousand, so it's it's less than sixty four thousand, which is the limit. So because it's less than that, your tax is the rate times income, which is ten times that. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, now let's do one more. Let's do sixty-five thousand, and we are still married. So in this case, you'll pay sixty-six fifty. So how do we get that number? That's pretty simple. It's just um, the ten percent times uh, sixty-four hundred, right? Because that's the limit. So your tax ten percent up until this number. So that would be. Uh, 6,400 and then you have 250 so that's just uh, the 0 0.25 times the um, the 1,000 right so that's how you got the 250 so I think that makes sense and uh, yeah I guess that's a wrap on this program